are loaded to the gills on this trip. I'm um, so looking forward to seeing everybody again. You know, you kind of get to know this group of people from every event, every year that attend every year, and we're so excited to see everybody. We'll see what Wendy's up to. She's like standing outside of the truck window, like she knows I'm recording. So she is sitting there and I'm talking to the camera right now and she's like, oh man, I can't interrupt him. So I'm gonna flash it back and see what she does. There she is. Hello. We were just talking about you. You were, huh? Yeah. What were you saying about me? Are you super excited to see everybody I for am. the trip? Yeah. All the planning, it's finally almost here. my word so, don't worry about that now i am so i, I don't have a hat to cover up my bald spot well the bald's in the back it's just getting thin up here so we went straight down to brown county mm -hmm. and then we are here we set up on saturday mm -hmm. in the dark so, we always get here in the dark we get to campgrounds always in the dark we ate Most the are. fried tenderloin fried tenderloin sandwich Same from yes gnaw mart gnaw mart gnaw bone no it was Albone, in Indiana. Yeah. No. Indiana. <laughs> Albone, Indiana is where we stopped. Is that the, your southern at accent? The, at the old country mart. I went down to the country <laughs> mart and got an, an Albone beef tenderloin sandwich. It wasn't beef, fried, I think it was pork tenderloin. Or pork. <laughs> anyway, so that was, it was okay. It was good. Someone suggested it to yeah. us to stop. It so satisfied we did. the hunger. Yeah. Um, it's tomorrow to get up bright and early. We are heading to the hiker. Okay, got up in my ear. Stop that. Uh, <laughs> we're heading what to... What is it about bugs like you can hear in Like they ear. buzz right in my ear right when the <laughs> mic's on. Um, we're heading to the Hiker Factory mm -hmm. tomorrow for a few surprises. From there we'll head south. We're excited to see them. And to meet a bunch of new people. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. So it's all about growing the community, right? Yeah. And not only for us to have a community, for people within the hiker group to build their own community. Yeah, what'd you spend all morning doing? Oh, <laughs> putting together the AC vent covers. <laughs> so they were almost ready. Just had a couple more steps to do. So worked on those this morning and they are ready to go. Yeah. The, the rally's been what? Ohio, Pennsylvania. Tennessee. Tennessee, now Kentucky. Mm -hmm. It's moved all over the Midwest and it's usually a six to eight hour drive. Mm -hmm. So it, it makes for a long day and yes. then you have to turn around and work the next day. But it is what it is. So we're staying an extra night this time so that we can sit back and relax, say goodbye to everyone, and not feel rushed ourselves to get out of there. So after we stop at Hiker Factory, then we'll end up being down there on Monday night. Mm -hmm. We are at Hiker Indiana today, and we met up with Kyle. Hello. And we are adding a couple new mods to our trailer. So what did we end up putting on this, year, this uh, week, this year? What did we put on today? This year so far, <laughs> yeah, um, right. I, I'm aware that you put on the Arc Jack 500 yes. with the new adapter plate. Very excited about that one. Yes, finally out of prototype into production. Mm -hmm. 
Um, we also put our new side table, so we've mm -hmm. discontinued the original hiker table, maybe not as long as our original hiker table. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, but the mount is a little bit more streamlined. So Hiker is now selling the Yakima side tables. They have two versions. One is the bamboo that has space for a collapsible sink. That's got a cutting board that can go right on top of the sink. Or you can put the cutting board just right into the table itself. So it attaches on this bar. There are some pressure screws to keep it in place. And then the second one is an all metal table. This one is a little bit longer and a little bit wider. And it's got a little towel bar on the side here. Um, again, it attaches the same way with these little hooks on that bar. Then both of them have a leg down here that screws in here. You can take this. And adjust it to whatever height you need for your table. Turn that in, tighten it in, and you're good to go. That just screws right out. The metal one does come with a bag. It's like it just slides right in. Yep. So there's a pocket for the leg. You're gonna probably store the plastic goods in the back, I'm assuming. On the, the mid-range XL, you're going to get the uh, 500 series yeah. arc jack, mm -hmm. and so there's an adapter plate that is going to bolt to the pre-existing mounting plate on the arc jack, mm -hmm. and it's going to allow you to mount onto the original tube that is on the tongue of your hiker. That part that kind of sticks out so that yeah. the current yep. jack slides onto. So you would take your arc jack, you would put the mounting plate on mm -hmm. there with four bolts. Yep. You would take the pin out of the jack that's on there now, mm -hmm. sit it to the side, take your arc jack with the adapter plate, slide it over that cylinder, put the pin in. Um, on yours, we have it just basically stowed in the upward position. Yeah. So when you get to a campsite, you pull out the lever and it drops straight down, mm -hmm. put the pin in and crank. Um, or depending on your setup, you would have the same uh, option to pull the pin, put it at 90 degrees, yeah. put the pin back in and then travel that way. Out. And from my experience, it was a little bit tough <laughs> trying to get it to the 90 degree and back down. I, so I, I, I think just that. going <laughs> straight up and down would just be easier for yeah. me. But One less step. I, I did notice too that uh, just some of the, the holes and the, 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 the pins that mm -hmm. we use to retain them are a little rigid just because it's fresh construction. So yeah, it hasn't we'll, been worn in yet. Right, yeah. yeah. I'd say it's gonna get easier the more you use it. Right. So we can go down the road this way without an issue. Shouldn't have any issues yep. there. Um, it's Like I said, it's gonna hang about the same height it would due to the spare tire. And yep. then when you get to your campsite, you can drop everything like this. Oh, nice. Yep. And then crank. Oh. Yeah. You like that, don't you? I do. See? That's why I said we need to get one. <laughs> it's gonna be so much easier. Magnetic handle. Yeah, Make sure you hang on to that. On. Yep. For sure. Yep. Keep it somewhere safe. There you go. Look at that. Cause you're the one that takes the trailer on and off all the time. I know. This I was is gonna... complaining this morning because I kept on hitting this bag when I was rotating yeah, this. She was... Awesome. Mm -hmm. When do you expect that the arc jack adapter might be available for people so, to purchase? I don't have a specific date. Okay. What I would say is if you're anxious, give us a phone call. Let us uh, kind of tell you where we're at in the process. I'm happy to relay whatever information we can but I do know that it is no longer prototype, it is in production, okay. so you it's know, a big step. ASAP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, We've got a lot of customers that we want to get their adapter out so they can hook up their arc jack. So if they call you, you'll get them on the list, so when it's ready, you'd contact them and let them know. Already have a list, okay. uh, just waiting to have the, the pieces in hand, and then mm -hmm. we're just gonna start mailing them out. Perfect. Yeah. Do you know the cost by chance? Uh, it was included with the price of the arc jack. Okay, 
Okay. So if you have the arc jack or you ordered the arc jack, mm -hmm. um, you've already paid for the adapter plate. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So when we entered the hiker trailer factory this time, we were greeted with this trio of blue, white, and red trailers. Pretty sharp when you're entering into the factory. So another option that caught my eye was this diamond plate blackout edition on the rear of the door and cut down the side of the trailer. It's pretty sharp looking. While we were at Hiker Trailer this time, Kyle showed off the new Arc Jack Sand Jacks that they are working on for all their off-road editions. He showed us the standard older style jack and the new modified arc jack. The Jerome would be a great addition. I believe when you have these out all the way that you still have enough room to stow them back as long as you can clear that vertical sure. straight up and down. One of the common questions Wendy and I get asked all the time is do you use your rooftop air very often and is air conditioning needed? Honestly, we only use it a couple times a year on those extremely hot, humid nights where we happen to be on shore power in a campground. There's several new options that are hitting the market. Zero Breeze is one of those. Hiker trailers continuing to innovate by prototyping different air conditioning units so they can adapt to their trailers in the future. Cooled air come hmm. back in and it's more efficient. So you're not having way. to re-cool or cool down new air every you're time. You're not working as hard. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, you're not selling it. Just a concept? Uh, we do sell them. Uh, we've had oh, really? customers specifically ask to put that in as a custom option. Oh, interesting. So you just push this on? You don't have that, any kind of... That just happens to fit right over top of the little pegs. So you can actually twist it on there. Okay. Three inch hole, but with the four inch duct work, it fits right over those pegs mm -hmm. and holds it just as tight as you saw me trying to take it right. off. Well, thanks for letting us come out and check you out today. Yeah, thanks for coming by. Definitely. It's good to see you. You too. Do we have to do it again? <laughs> have to check you out today. That just I know. sounded really I, I thought that too. <laughs> just read, just read the last part. I didn't catch that. <laughs> I did. I did too as I said it. I'm like, like, what the heck? Well, thanks for letting us stop by today. It was of great course. to see you guys again. Yes, it was good to see you as well. All right. Take care. Thanks. Okay, so one tip that we ran into, now that we've traveled with it on the way home, was the wheel was just spinning loosely like this. So the way to stop that, prevent the wheel from spinning, if you store it in the upright position, is to have this pin lined up with this plate so it doesn't spin going down the road. And potentially, potentially, I don't think it's supposed to, but run itself down. We kind of played around with it. We stepped a hiker on the way home and talked to them about it. It should not wind itself down by doing this, but see right there, now it's hitting, now it's hitting the ground. So I think it is possible. So you're going to want to crank this up. And as you crank it up, make sure these two line up so it can't spin itself down. You can see, I'm gonna run it right on home. There you go, your wheel is now secure. It can't move left to right. And that would be a good travel position. Now the only reason why we're so close to the ground here is because I'm in my garage. And we have the whole jack in the down position right now for demonstration. So outside of that, the jack would be, the wheel would be sitting up higher and we wouldn't have this clearance issue. Join us next time as we continue our trip 